You know that move where Zlatan puts the ball on his chest and he falls down with his back almost at the ground and it looks like he's broken every single bone of his body? Well, that's what I'm teaching you today. Even though he's pushing 40, Zlatan is one of the most acrobatic players in the game. But we're not going to talk about how he is in the game. We're going to talk about what he does before the game. And that is being an absolute baller. So I'm going to give you a few pointers on how to do the really, really low chest stall. But before we get started, make sure that you are warm and stretched out for your own sake. So let's go through two stretches that will help you land this trick. I recommend this stretch for your lower back. And this one for your groin and hip. Now I don't think Zlatan did this before doing the trick, so we're just gonna carry on. Now, doing a regular chest stall, you need to have a wide stance like this, flexible knees, and then lean your back backwards as much as you can, and then hold your arms like you're reaching for a hug from someone coming from the sky like this. And then you place the ball in the middle of your chest with the ball resting towards your chin. And that is the regular chest stall. Now that we got the regular chest stall out of the way, we're gonna step it up a notch or rather step it down a notch and do it the way Zlatan does it. And in order to do that, you need an even wider stance, even more flexible knees, and you need to go even further down with your back. And in the wide stance, you need to be able to balance on the inside of your foot, not the sole of your foot. So like this, not like this. So when you go down, you're gonna bend your knees inwards because you can, like this, and go even further down with your back as long as you can. Wow, okay. Whew. Sheesh. It's important to note that to stay balanced, you need to keep the center of gravity as close to your feet as possible. And that means shifting your knees forward and also your butt forward in order to keep that gravity. Because if you just go down and backwards, you're gonna fall down. And Zlatan's not gonna like that. And now to the most important part of the trick, incorporating the ball. So remember, a very wide stance, knees forward, standing on the inside of your feet, butt forward, back backwards, ball, hug, and that's how you do it. Now, if you wanna do the full thing as he does it, start on a foot stall and then do it all again, but in one motion. When attempting this move, please, please don't hurt yourself. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, leave a like and a comment down below on what trick or skill move you wanna learn in the next video. Also make sure to subscribe with the bell notifications on and check out the playlist down below if you wanna learn some more tricks. And I will see you guys in the next video.